Windy impenetrable national park, Uganda. Home to half of the world's last endangered mountain gorillas. This charismatic animal generates more than half the country's tourism revenue and has been fundamental to promoting the conservation of its forest habitat. But habituation has not come without consequences. Gorillas share more than 98% of our DNA and when foraging in community land are at risk from catching human diseases. Ecotourism increases the risks. The 700 mountain gorillas in the world and Uganda has about 350. And when I was working as a vet in Uganda Wildlife Authority, we investigated the first KB skin disease outbreak in mountain gorillas, which resulted in the death of an infant and the rest of the group got very sick. Dr. Gladys Kalamazik-Soka is founder of Conservation Through Public Health, a unique NGO working to prevent the spread of disease from humans to gorillas and vice versa. Here, Africa's most vulnerable wildlife populations share an environment with people. Another of our programs is the Human Public Health Program, which deals with improving the health of people living around protected areas. And we do this by working closely with the health clinics. By improving primary health care for people and for animals, Gladys is saving lives. Health education workshops with local communities raise awareness of the risk of disease transmission, whilst encouraging a positive attitude to conservation. The team has established a gorilla research clinic in the National Park, the first of its kind in East Africa, and trained 170 Uganda Wildlife Authority park rangers in wildlife health monitoring techniques. Local people are helping monitor gorillas, and the income from ecotourism is invested back into local facilities. Actually, the local community were using the cellar center. They come and do computer classes. The tourists also use the facility. They want to tell their families that we've just seen the gorillas, here are my pictures, I'm safe in Uganda. It links very well with our other programs as well because we're using the cellar center to develop information on interrelated public health and conservation issues for the community and around the world. To date, more than 2,000 people have been involved in the program giving hope for a bright future for both gorillas and local communities at Windy.